Welcome to Five to Nine, the movie game for movie fans, where we have to connect actors to actors through no fewer than five and no more than nine movies. I'm your host, Eric Ginsberg, and we're coming to you live on tape from my apartment under quarantine in beautiful Asbury Park, New Jersey. Do you love movies? Do you love getting lost in the IMDb, the internet movie database? Do you love talking through, oh, who was that guy who was in that thing? What's his face? then this is your show and this game is for you. In just a moment, I'm gonna to introduce today's contestants, but first I wanna remind you that if you'd like to be a contestant on Five to Nine, you can enter for a chance to be on our show by beating us at our own game. Just download or purchase official Five to Nine game cards at five to nine game.com. That's the number five, T-O, the number nine, game.com. Play today's challenge, post a photo of your winning game card on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and tag at five to nine game in your post. So my first guest, he is a trombonist around Asbury Park. Uh, one of his favorite movies of all time uh, that, that, that uh, will always make him cry for some reason is The Joker, Ian Gray. Ian Gray, can you tell me why The Joker will always make you cry? Dude, it's dark, man. I'm on his side, you know? It's not his fault. <laughs> he was, he's a victim of society, man. It's real stuff. I don't know, man. I feel like a lot of stuff was his fault in that, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but uh, so, Ian, tell me, <laughs> you play trombone in a lot of bands around town. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I've been playing uh, in Asbury Park since I was like 16, from like Woodfish to Shady Street Show Band to Remember Jones to uh, Southside John and the Asbury Juke, Starling Love. I, I've, I've just sort of uh, jumped around from... Uh, you know, older bands, newer bands to whatever. Yeah. So I've been uh, doing horn section work for a minute now. And uh, I love calling Asbury Park my home when I travel. It's great. Nice. Nice. Uh, and our next guest, he is the lead guitarist for Remember Jones and also the frontman of the inflatable head. He is streaming all kinds of stuff right now as we are all living under relative quarantine uh, my next guest, Sir Sherry. Sir Sherry, hello, and how you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm all right. Now, you told me before the show that a movie you can watch from, like, any point, uh, and maybe one of your favorite movies as a kid, was Jumanji. I'm interested to get your take on the newer Jumanji films and if they hold up in your heart. So, I, I did not watch the first of the new ones, but I did see the second one, and I thought it was terrible i stopped watching <laughs> oh that's very, very bad it was rough that is so sad we watched it together and he's uh, gotta watch the first one the I, first one's the first one's fun i'd give it a shot but honestly that's one of the one like that movie to me doesn't get better than it was robin yeah. williams being awesome and yeah just, no i mean robin williams david allen greer uh uh, uh bonnie hunt uh kirsten dunst really yeah, young great kirsten movie dunst. Uh, the uh, the actor whose name escapes me at the moment who plays his dad also plays the hunter and there's that great kind of like Peter Pan dynamic going on there where the actor who plays yeah. uh, uh, P uh, who plays the darling's father also plays Captain Hook in the play so there's a lot of that going on right 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 yeah yeah that's that's deep so uh, that's why I got I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we've invited you both here today to play the movie game Five to Nine, where you'll have to connect two actors through no fewer than five and no more than nine movies. Here's how we're going to play. Before our show, uh, I asked you guys to send me the name of five actors. I've put those names into a hat, and now we're going to randomly draw two of them that you're going to have to connect. So out of the hat, I am pulling with my blindfold on, or at least my eyes closed. We are pulling Matt Damon. So we're going to put Matt Damon in the from spot on our game card. Right. All right. And we're going to go from Matt Damon to, to Will Ferrell. Will Woo! Ferrell. So now, did they do a movie together? Is this easy? No, we well, have to it, it, the name of the game is five to nine, which means you have to get there in no fewer than five and no more than right. nine movies. So if they were in a movie together, uh, then you'd have a much harder time because you need to go out and then come back. Right. Uh, and they were actually in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Right. Right. They were yes. Both in that film. Uh, so. Uh, we're also going to draw a third name as a wild card. If you can go through that wild card, you can earn 
three bonus points. That third name is going to be Sean Connery. Woo! <laughs> Love that guy. I, I got to be honest. It makes me, I mean, I understand at, and it, at a certain point in anybody's life, they have to take a step back, but I miss him. I miss, I miss Gene Hackman. And I really, I'm sad for the fact that a younger generation have no idea who these people are and can't look forward to new movies with them, et cetera. True. Yeah. It, are they officially not making movies? Oh yeah. They no, just... they, they officially retired many years ago. Bummer. Yeah, I know. I know. Like now, now my day is ruined. Thank you. Sorry. Jack Nicholson also has retired. Uh, he said yeah. he just can't memorize the lines anymore. So finally, we're going to spin That's because he went to Manitowoc High School. M that could have something to do with it. Uh, finally, we are going to spin our house rules wheel. And each time you guys hit the house rule, you can get a bonus point. So let's spin the wheel. Ticket, 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 ticket. It doesn't make any sound, unfortunately. Nice a ticket, 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 ticket. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and our house rule today is going to be based on a true story. So any movie that we include that is based on a true story, be it a biopic, be it, you know, just one of those based on a true story. I, I always kind of crack up when they say inspired by a true story, meaning the true story has nothing to do with this, but like I kind of misheard a headline on the news thought I knew what it was about and thought that'd make a great movie and then learned that's not what it was about at all and said, I'm making it that movie anyway. Yeah, I got one the, idea and one. Those movie. are my favorite. Uh, so, Ian, Sir Sherry, you'll be playing together and I'll be here on the sidelines to offer some help along the way, but hopefully not too much help. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yes. Now, I as always, I have to apologize in advance to the actors who spent a career building a body of work whose faces we know, but whose names we may butcher, and to all the hardworking writers, directors, and producers who picked the perfect name for a film that we may likely fumble through today. I swear we really do love your work. So, gentlemen, let's start talking it out. We got to start at Matt Damon. We got to get to Will Ferrell if we can get through Sean Connery bonus points. Of course, Kevin Bacon for two points, our perennial wild card. House rules today are going to be from a real story and an SNL cast member will always get you a point. So Will Ferrell is already worth an extra point right there, right. which you have to get to him to win the game. So you've already got one of those points baked in if you can do it. Start talking it through. Rattle off Matt Damon movie. See where you can get from Matt Damon to Sean Connery. Go. Okay. So I just want to say right off the bat, I'm not going to be satisfied if we don't get both Kevin Bacon and Sean Connery in this. Yes. Okay. So nice. we're going for the whole thing. Do it. And, and, and uh, what was the house rule again? True story. The house rule is based on a true story today. So that's, and that's one point. That, that is going to be one point every time you do it. So for instance, if every movie you use was based on a true story, they'd each be worth an extra point. Right. But if we go out of our way and add an extra movie, it cancels out. Theoretically, right? that is true. Because for yeah. each movie you go over five, you do start losing points. Okay, cool. So all that all strategy. Right. You got any thoughts? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear what you all right. here's, you're confidently so, in this. So here's what I got. So, Catherine Zeta Jones and Sean Connery were in Entrapment. That is yeah. very true. Go ahead. You ever see that one? Yeah. That, that's a great movie. It is. Um, and Catherine Zeta Jones was in a movie with Matt Damon. So, there's a pretty good leapfrog there. Right. They were in uh, the, o like the Oceans movies. Yeah, right. right. But specifically, not all of them. Not was, all of them. It was, uh, the, was it 11? The second one, Oceans 12. That is correct. Yes. Wow, I'm doing great. Can I? Can we just stop now? Because I'm feeling like <laughs> I have that on PSP, dude. <laughs> wow. All right. So, so we can right there. We get Matt Damon, Catherine Zeta Jones, Sean Connery, with with two move with two movies there. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Um, all right. So we want to now we're aiming for Kevin Bacon, basically. Yeah. If if you can get there, yes. Uh, but uh, Will Ferrell is the end goal. That is true. Right. Okay. Wait, I got this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to work, let's work backwards. So we got Will Ferrell was in Step Brothers mm -hmm. with John C. Riley, And, and a, a lot of other movies, but yes, absolutely. Right, right, right. Which, and we just, uh, 
we we just watched that one. Uh, I I've actually seen Step Brothers like four times in the last month. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> great movie. Yeah. Um, I, I I mean, there's so many good moments in the movie, but my favorite is if we if we stack the beds, there'll be more room for activities. Yeah. I don't know why that always gets me. It's a fantastic quote. We well, I say that literally all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I mean literally, literally, like not figuratively, literally, literally, mm-hmm. like it's all I say. Literally, literally. Right. So, all right. So where are we going from there? Okay. So John C. Riley was in The River Wild with Kevin Bacon. This is very true. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Now, wow. if you can get from Kevin Bacon wow. to Sean Connery, you will have won this game in short order. Wow. Okay. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> so Kevin Bacon to Sean Connery. That's great. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I studied a bunch of Kevin Bacon movies <laughs> before this. So I'll rattle off a few that I remember, but I'm, I'm not sure how to get to Sean Connery just yet. But uh, we got um, A Few Good Men. Mm-hmm. Or no. Met, yeah, was it that one? That's mm-hmm. the one with... We need Kevin Bacon and Nicolas Cage, man. That's what we need. Mm-hmm. Because what's Nicolas Cage in with Sean Connery? Uh, the Rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the way to go. Which all is right. on my list. Did I write it? I, I think I put it on my list. <laughs> yeah. it, should, it should have been on mine. Like, I, that's that childhood movie that's always on TV, and it's like, I'm watching it. Like, yeah. definitely watching The Rock and Volcano. Anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. Volcano with that actor from Men in Black, whose name you couldn't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. That's right. Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Scott, Tommy Lee I, Jones. Love you. I love you, Tommy. I know he's, still, he's out there listening. <laughs> We hope we honestly every episode we just hope Tommy Lee Jones is listening. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's it's a goal. All right, so so we're doing. Were we close there? He would know. What? <laughs> oh yeah, and no, I mean, you guys. All you got to do is get from Sean Connery to Kevin Bacon, and you I mean you yeah. guys are real close to winning real fast. Go for it. All right, what are some Sean Connery movies? Oh man, I mean Kevin Bacon's not in any James Bond movies. No, but he doesn't have to be in that one. We I can, know. You know, we just take some steps. The Rock is what just keeps coming. The Rock. To mind. All right, so let's see other Kevin Bacon movies. Uh, there's so a few good men with Jack Nicholson. We talked about mm-hmm. there's uh, Flatliners, which has mm. man, everybody. Julia, yeah, Julia Roberts is in that. She was she in a movie with with Sean Connery? Julia Roberts. I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, who else is in that one? Uh, Billy Baldwin, the lesser known one of the lesser known Baldwins. Sorry, Billy, that's so mean. Why'd I have to say that? <laughs> Alex, Alex, my man, I got a personal relationship with that guy. Well, serious? that's true. You actually saw him back in 2016 in New York. Can you tell us about that? I was I was working on Stephen Van Zandt's record uh, with the Disciples of Soul, and I was like for an hour searching for a parking spot on like 28th and Sixth Ave or something like that. And Alec lives right there, like near the village. And uh, I guess he was he always goes to this local bagel shop to get bagels for his naturally, family. Naturally, naturally, and that's where, when they're talking you to him. Go. So it's predictable, of course, that the paparazzi is going to be there, like trying to take photos of Alec Baldwin in like tube socks getting bagels. Mm -hmm. So So then why does he wear the tube socks? If it's predictable to us, if we know they're going to be there, doesn't he know they're going to be there? He's got to prove it. If he's eating bagels in New York City, he's got to prove that he's working it out. He's got to prove that he cares. He's going to be on SNL that weekend. He's got he's got to give it to his fans that he's working hard for him. Like Mm -hmm. it's not all just cashed in, you know. Right. It's hard. It's hard to put tube socks on. That guy. (laughs) That guy. Movies, TV shows, regardless. This is live paparazzi through cars. He came up to me on his bike, and he put his arm inside. would know and he's like hey man what's going on what are you up to today i'm like uh i'm, I'm going to record some trombone with steven van zandt at his studio he's like he's my neighbor he lives right down the block very nice guy i t- tell him i'll be right there i'm gonna i'm gonna come over and and sure he didn't show up but sure enough that day like dave Grohl and Whoopi goldberg were there Whoa. and like it was such Whoa. a it was such a like okay i'm waking up at 6 a.m i'm working hard on these charts i'm you know recording this music 
And then they had the uh, Eight Days a Week premiere come out, and they were all producers for it through mm-hmm. like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation. Wow. So, so like, so you got to meet for- Dave Kroll and Whoopi Goldberg in a recording session. Dave Grohl put his hand on my shoulder. I didn't know he was there at all till he told me that trombone's his favorite instrument. What? And, and you haven't him. washed your I shoulder since, that. right? He cornered me as the young cat around all of these 60-year-olds. Nice. That's good. <laughs> just, just that, I mean, Dave Grohl is a perennially wonderful person. I've met him on like a handful of occasions where it's yeah. just like, you know, just like fan signings, nothing where it's like, we were hanging out in a recording studio kind of experience, but he was just such a good dude. I, I literally, dude. and this is a much longer story I'm not going to get into right now, but I literally saw Dave Grohl take the shirt off his back for a fan. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I, uh, really quick, like worth story, Asbury Park, bamboozle, right? Mm-hmm. I'm working at the Berkeley Carteret bar. I get a job for light a day. So I'm working there and I get called in like, dude, we need help. We're swamped room service midnight on a Saturday. I deliver 10 orders of chicken fingers and French fries to the Johnny cash suite. And it's Mick Jagger and all the Foo Fighters. They had just helicoptered from oh SNL onto the beach and deal. They and they drove back. all to the stage and stayed at the Johnny Cash suite. And I delivered Mick Jagger and Dave Grohl chicken fingers and french fries. It never occurred Amazing. to me they came back. For those of you listening who don't know, the Foo Fighters played on the beach in Asbury Park the same day that they were going to be the backing band for Mick Jagger on SNL. So they had to be in Manhattan for the rehearsal. Then they had to helicopter to Asbury Park for their concert. Then after they were done, they had to helicopter back to New York to be on SNL. It never occurred to me they would have helicoptered yet another time back to Asbury Park. I just imagine they 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 airdropped in, played their gig, and then left. I think they taped it earlier, and they were like, I don't know. Did they go back? Is that a yeah, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense That's now that crazy. I think about it because they did play a warm-up set at some little eatery on Cookman. Uh, and so I guess they were here, here. I had always envisioned that they were in New York, came here for the gig, went back to New York. But they actually started the day here, did their warm-up gig, then went to New York, did the uh, rehearsal with Mick Jagger, then flew back to Asbury Park, played on the boardwalk, then flew back to New York, did mm-hmm. SNL, and now you're telling me flew back here and dragged Mick Jagger with them. And that maybe just, is listen, the coolest experience ever. I'm just saying that that's what I saw. I, I, don't, I can't make that up. So <laughs> I mean, that's, that sounds pretty nuts. But, yeah, uh, when, you, pretty when, awesome. you need, when you need chicken fingers late at night, you wish you had a helicopter at your disposal. Seriously. It was pretty just late enough. Yeah. Well, I will keep that in mind should I ever need chicken fingers in the future. So uh, great stories and Dave Grohl aside, we're trying to get from Sean Connery to Kevin Bacon. And I feel like uh, I, I, I don't have an exact connection, but you said Nick Cage, who was in The Rock. Who else was in The Rock? That's what I'm trying to think. Oh, actually, yeah. I know. Uh, Ed Harris. Yeah. Ed Harris. I Love just, that I guy. I feel like... I'm not oh, thinking of it right now. He was now. in Apollo like 13 Apollo with Kevin 13. Bacon. There we go. Yes! There we yeah. go. <laughs> Wait, I, I, also got, I also thought of another one. Uh, hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let, let's shout this one down first. So oh, Sean let, Connery pick, was gets in the, most points. the Rock, which is not based on a true story, though it would be awesome if it were. Oh, with, oh I, I think we need to fact check you do, on little that. Little do we know. Ed Harris, who was in Apollo 13, which absolutely was based on a true story. Oh, that's with, right. That's a bonus point. We're sticking with that. With Kevin Bacon, who was in, what was the name of the movie you said? The we River said, Wild? Uh, the River Wild, Wild, which is great. Great movie. We should watch mm-hmm. that in quarantine. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. <laughs> so they were uh, together. Kevin Bacon was, was in The River Wild with John C. John C. Riley, Riley. Who, played, who played Terry. Who was in Step in Brothers? Step Brothers, to name one, with, with Will, Will which might Farrell. be based on a true story. Gentlemen, you have won the game. Let's start totaling some points. So at the bottom of the card, it says ten minus the number of movies. We did six movies. That's going to get you 
four points. Now you went through your wild card of Sean Connery. Great job. Did that real fast. You went through Kevin Bacon, our perennial wild card for two more points. We have one SNL cast member, which is Will Farrell, but that was always going to be baked into our win, but no extra points on that. And we did nail the house rule on Apollo 13. Gentlemen, you literally checked all the boxes. This was my goal going into it. All yes, the boxes. Yeah. Yes. So let's total it up. We have four points. We have three more brings you to seven. We have two more brings you to nine, 10, 11. Gentlemen, this is like getting 11 points in a hockey game or a Ooh. soccer game. That's crazy. You guys did a great job with 11 points. Is that the record? And winners, uh, record forever? I don't know. For our episodes thus far, yes. yes. So right now, you guys have the show record. Though the yeah. game record is out there to the world at 529game.com. Now, uh, Sherry, you had another suggestion a moment ago. I wanted to jot this one down first. What was your other suggestion? I think, I think it adds a step. So it would be Sean Connery was in Raiders of the, was in Last Crusade with Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. who was in Raiders of the Lost Ark with Karen Allen, mm -hmm. played Marion, who was in Animal House with Kevin Bacon. That is true. Karen did Allen that, was in Animal House with Kevin Bacon. Did that add now? How many SNL? Yeah, how many SNL points does Hannibal House give us? I know. <laughs> well, we'd have to actually name John Belushi, but right. then you'd have to go somewhere with that. But gentlemen, you did yeah. a great job. Thank you so much for taking the time today to be on 5 to 9, for playing our game. You've each won the official 5 to 9 game pad, which comes with 50 game cards and is also available now oh. at 5 to 9 game dot com because we're not in person because we are at home under quarantine and recording this episode uh, from a distance i'll have to put those in the mail to you uh, but they will be there relatively soon please, listeners make please sure wash your hands before you do <laughs> uh, <laughs> listeners while you are stuck at home or if you're listening to this episode after the pandemic has ended make sure to check out the inflatable head make sure to check out sir sherry wherever sir sherry's are sold and make sure to check out uh, Remember Jones, which is the band of which he is the lead guitarist. And basically, anytime you're walking around Asbury Park checking out bands and you see a trombone player, get a good look because that is very likely going to be our friend, Mr. Ian Gray. That's and if my you find roommate. <laughs> <laughs> and if you five to niners listening out there in the podcast either we're chomping at the bit yelling out a better solution for today's challenge as we played through it you can enter for a chance to come on our show by beating us at our own game just download or purchase official five to nine game cards at five to nine game.com that's the number five to the number nine game.com play today's challenge post your game card on twitter instagram or facebook and tag at five to nine game in your post high scores as well as creativity and entertainment value will be considered this has been five to nine i'm your host eric ginsburg our show is recorded today from my apartment and sir sherry and ian gray's uh house um I'm in Asbury Park. They are immediately Oakhurst, in the area. Oakhurst, Oakhurst represent. Um, our mm -hmm. sound engineers today have been us. We've been doing this ourselves because we're all locked at home. So why not? Our theme music is by me. Subscribe to Ooh. 5 to 9 podcast through the Apple Podcast app. Google Play Store, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, if you'd like to look at us too, or literally everywhere else you get your podcast. Please stay. Uh, let me do it again. Please play with us online through social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can play today's challenge or make up your own and play with or against the global 5 to 9 community. Just don't forget to tag at 5 to 9 game when you do. Thanks for listening and let's play together again soon. Thank you, Eric. Guys, great fun. job. Thank you. You guys, it, it was a lot of fun. I had high expectations for myself. Yeah, and I was terrified. I can't believe that. Oh. So I think, right, the fact that we get to choose our own actors, obviously, that that's.